Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be doing something quite a bit different, I think, than uh, some of the last videos. Uh, we're actually going to be trying to draw some scenes and have some fun practice uh, with GeoGuessr. So recently I've been trying to be like uh, working up my environments and stuff to hopefully like eventually be a concept artist. Uh, so you need quite a high skill level. I'm not going to lie, I was getting a little bored with some of the references. So I figured uh, doing GeoGuessr locations, like you know, random locations on the map, sounds like a pretty fun idea. So I figured, hey, might as well bring you guys along. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what GeoGuessr is, I guess I'll explain it real quickly. Uh, there's some guys like Rainbolt who are insanely good, but basically what it is, it's a Google Maps Street View, and you put in a random location, and you just have to click where you are on the map, and that's it. So it's a pretty simple concept for like the game, uh, but I feel like after you give it a shot or two, then it really like kicks up in difficulty because you're like, hold up, I don't know what any of these places are. I've been tr I've been playing a little bit just on my own and trying to get a little bit better, but there's a lot of lore about the Earth that you need to know uh, to be decent. Yeah, I say without any further ado, we just start doing some geo guessing. Okay, so do I know where this is? Not at all. Actually, I do know where it is. It's in Dubai because it says right there on the mall. But I mean, we got a pretty good. We got a pretty cool little potential scene here. So these are all gonna be like street view. So it's gonna be like a pretty low camera position because it's on top of a car. A G wagon, gang gang. So I'm just gonna kind of look around here and see uh, what we can do for uh, for composition. I'm not too sure. I kind of like this uh, bridge here that comes across. I mean, that's not too bad. And I think this one's pretty cool too. Yeah, I'm trying to keep in mind like the rule of thirds a little bit. I'm not sure exactly if I want to make these like a little bit more mystical kind of thing. If I want to go pretty one-to-one, -one. Uh, but we'll have to see. The real question is, do I know where Dubai is? Oh, there we go, there we go. So the, we're in Dubai, in the Dubai mall right here. So I'm gonna go with right there. How we do? Hey, I'll take it. All right, boys, this is what we're looking at for the first sketch. Now, I was thinking something a little bit more apocalyptic, right? I think it's going pretty decent so far, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I want to keep the general, like, colors pretty cool overall. And then have, like, select bright ones. Probably an orange. Uh, just to have, like, some contrast, you know? Should maybe look cool. Maybe we'll just not do what I said at all and uh, do something else. But we'll kind of see how it goes, honestly. I'm going to try and keep, like, the detail lower. But the vibe captured, I think, is going to be the the goal for these. I'm thinking a darker base color like this, probably a solid idea. Maybe it is a, uh, I was kind of thinking like aliens or something. Maybe a monster came down and just kind of like messed the whole place up. Let's do this. So maybe we can make it moonlight perhaps per chance. Maybe sunset would actually work better. So we could just kind of do like a, yeah, I'm thinking like this could be on fire, like the baseline here. And uh, this building would have like a hole through it. I think it's a cool little scene. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be working with. So this whole area and this front. So and this stuff, we're. In, I think what I'm gonna do is have more of the details in the highlights and not the shadows, or the opposite, but not both. Because uh, I think recently I've been doing both, and I feel like that gets a little muddy. Because uh, you have a little bit too much going on. Because like I've been doing some of these extra scenery practice, and I'll just pop a few up here. And uh, well, I think they've been doing all right, like quality-wise. Uh, I do think they look a little muddy, which is something that could be solved with just uh, just like consolidating the detail. I think. I'm not sure if that actually solves the problem, uh, but that's what we're trying out today. So I've done like four of these, or this, I haven't done too many of them, uh, basically. So uh, we don't know exactly how it's going to pan out, but if I say, yeah, we just get some base stuff down and kind of work from there, you know, just work from small and go up. All right, so this is going to be some base colors, uh, just kind of general vibe. And I think, I think we got a pretty, pretty solid vibe happening. So I think I'm going to kind of work back to front here. I'm going to render this main building uh, in the center because it's kind of the focal point. Uh, I don't know if we're, we might ditch the line art uh, pretty soon here. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, we'll kind of have to see how it goes. And I think it's cool if we see some uh, of the structural, structural supports uh, showing through as well. I feel like that, I, I mean, I've seen that. A few other people do that too, and I always thought it looked super cool. So yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this uh, brown color here. I'll tell you what, let's just add some uh, a little bit more orange on this side. I'll tell you what, that is some solid uh, base. Like, I don't know if you want to call it colors or whatever. We're going to have some multiply layers and stuff to get some uh, actual like, strong shadows in here. But we're looking at just color variation and getting like the individual like elements of each building kind of in at the moment. So I'm not too worried about the actual detail. Like that comes later. All right, here's what we're looking at so far. Now, honestly, we might be a little cooked. We're running into quite a few scale issues, but uh, we'll have to see if we can save it. You know, this is pretty far outside of my normal like comfort zone with drawing and stuff. So even if it's not like a 10, that's fine. Still made something kind of shitty looking, but a little cool. So we will take what we can get. Now I'm just gonna split off the foreground like sketch from the background here, just so I can uh, 
keep it around a little bit longer. And now we can do some like fog and stuff. There we go. So I think this is like pretty solid. We call it first draft. Basically what I'm going to be doing from here is I'm going to be just going on individual elements. I'm not sure where I'm going to start. I'm probably going to start in the back here, uh, kind of the focal point. I'm going to work from back to front and just slowly add detail. All right, so I added a little bit more base like detail and stuff. Um, you know, I think it's going all right. Honestly, I think we're a little cooked, uh, but it's pretty extreme lighting scenario. So uh, there's definitely some skill issues at play, but hey, that's fine. This is kind of how we improve. And then I added a little bit extra little details here and there. You know, I was just trying to keep it pretty simple and have most of the detail in the center. But you know, I'm just kind of using all the tricks essentially I got in the book to hopefully save this. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go much more detail uh, I think I'm gonna have some more stuff in this section on the front, in the corner here. It just seems kind of empty, but um, I think other than that, it's going all right. You know, I'm gonna add a few more little details like these, uh, like these power lines. And there we go. I think that is gonna be our uh, first GeoGuessr drawing. You know, I didn't think it was gonna go the apocalyptic route, but I think it looks all right. Um, I honestly. We're, we ran into some skill issues to get it fully, uh, I think, where I want it to be. If I were to rate it, I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 10. But um, I think it was a good learning experience, honestly. And I'm ready for the next one. Ooh, I like this area. This looks very European. I like this composition here. I think this could be something cool. Got like your little building here. You know, a little, little one over there, but we could erase that and make more mountains. I'm seeing some potential. I'm thinking like Northern Europe. If I'm being honest. Somewhere around Poland, potentially. Okay, it was Italy, but that's fine. Alright, so this is our definitely first sketch, and uh, did not cause an apocalypse or anything like that in Dubai. Uh, so, we got this little peaceful Denmark, and let's just roll with it. Um, I'm, I'm actually liking this one so far. And I think, generally, I like the, the not cities as much. I like more like outside environments. I don't go outside, but um, if I did, it'd look like this, you know? So I say, yeah, just throw some base colors on this thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing too crazy. Gonna have a pretty simple lighting scenario, all that. Uh, but that's nothing's wrong with that. Cool little blue sky. And for skies, I typically just do airbrush. Airbrush is the goat for sky, uh, this kind of thing, in my opinion, so. And let's do a little bit of some clouds as well. I'm not really the best and at clouds, uh, if I'm being honest. I don't really have like a process or anything like that for them yet. Um, so it's kind of just different things every time. But uh, that's kind of what we're experimenting with, you know? Seeing what works, what doesn't. Uh, so far, a lot of things that aren't working and very few that are working, but you know, we'll get there eventually. Maybe, probably, maybe not. Okay, I think that's an okay sort of cloud formation. Uh, I'm just gonna add a few a little more highlights here. Just some subtle stuff, nothing too crazy. Uh, Cause I'm kind of liking how it's looking so far, but uh, you know, I'm just trying to keep it pretty chill. Overall chill vibe. All right, so that is our sky. Uh, pretty simple, you know? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. And let's do, so it's pretty like darker green fields. And this is where the struggling is gonna start, but I'm just gonna fill in all this color at once and uh, we can just kind of sort through the individual colors later. And use the alpha lock and uh, be chilling. Yeah, for trees and like stuff like that, I have been using a lot of Studio Ghibli stuff as reference because they're like really good at that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I think, I don't, I, I mean, I really like how they do their like smaller details, you know. You know, this specific area was very like mountainous. So the, uh, I also miss there's gonna be like fog and stuff like that. Potentially snow. Northern Europe, there would be snow. So makes sense. Then I saw some rocks in this general area, like a few of them, and they were pretty saturated. Uh, I don't know if that's just like how it is in that area. Like if they're like more bright colors or something, but yeah, I thought it looked cool. So I'll find something else to complain about now. All right, so now we add some little color variation in some of the grass and stuff like that. And just kind of see what we're working with, you know? You see that color variation just gives us something else to look at here. That's not really doing much in any like grand sense. Uh, it's just something that we c gives us a base, I guess, to build off of is a good way to say it. And obviously if we have it in the uh, grass, we would have it in the trees too. And we can have some in the rocks as well to give it, help break up the tones a little bit. So typically it's just a multiplied layer here and we're gonna be going pretty chill with it. Uh, but I kinda wanna just block it out, work from bigger shapes down. I don't know how much more detail I'm gonna be adding in the grasslands here. Kinda depends how much I do in the house. I kinda want the house to be like the focal point here. Uh, so that would have more detail than the rest. One other thing as well, like you wanna add detail where the shadow and the uh, 
highlights meet, just because that's where the eye is naturally drawn to anyway. So you, we actually don't need any of that that I just added, and we only need this stuff right here. Obviously, you can still add the other stuff. You know, it's not like it's going to make or break your drawing, uh, but it's just something... Like, it doesn't look as busy. I mean, I'm not really the best at actually implementing it, but it's something I've noticed, and I've been trying to implement myself, you know? So, yeah, we'll have to see. It's going to be a little bit of, like, a one to two year thing, probably, for it to, like, come to fruition. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm down for a little side quest. And now we do some reflections. I grab your ambient light, kind of pitch her down a little bit. And this is, I feel like, where uh, I spend most of my time is in reflections and stuff like this because I feel like it kind of makes the 3D look happen or maybe not 3D but like makes it look more interesting it's also where I've noticed Studio uh, Ghibli puts in a lot of their a lot of their detail is in reflections and now we do some I wouldn't call these highlights but just like another layer of detail and I, I don't really separate these as much I kind of just slowly layer them on when I think they need it yeah, I'm thinking that this actually, the bricks and stuff here, or the rocks, could be like a crumbling retaining wall. I think that look kind of cool. Uh, I mean, that's what it is. That uh, executive decision, that's what that's called now. So, hmm. um, yeah, I definitely just didn't draw some bad rocks and call it something else now. So, and I think I'm going to make another layer, and this will be the grass in the shade. So you're not going to see much of this. Yeah, and this doesn't really have to be super detailed. I'm honestly adding a little bit too much. But it's just enough to like kind of break it up is kind of is the idea, and you're just kind of adding it where, you know, you think some grass would be. Don't gotta be too detailed or even make sense. But uh, it is there. There we go. And now we can add some just difference between just the grass here. One good way to tell if you've been messing up the whole time is if you turn the layers off and then turn both on at the same time. If it looks better. I don't know kind of a breakthrough idea, but uh. It's a good little comparison check uh, to see if you're helping or hurting the drawing. So sometimes it's hard to tell. You kind of get lost in the sauce. Yeah, maybe the house is like an abandoned house on like an old hillside or something. And uh, it's like only used by like hikers who are like just traveling up and down the, the like dangerous path, you know? Uh, that's a, I mean, it kind of fits the, the vibe, honestly, because it's like still well taken care of, but just the intervals are so low. Maybe like during winter, it's kind of when it like falls apart a little bit. And like the hikers have to like have a little club, you know, uh, to repair it every year or something. All right, so I think we made two very different uh, paintings today. I like the contrast. I think they, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't like the Dubai one, but everyone I've sent it to says they like it, so decided to keep it in. Uh, but uh, I'm liking the, the Denmark one. I, I like the simpler stuff. I think it's just more that I like simple scenery and stuff like this in general. But hey, let me know what you think of the video. Any other stuff you want me to see? Hey, if you like the GeoGuessr video, I'm down to do more. It's like, it was surprisingly difficult, I would have to say. But uh, yeah, I got a Discord if you want to join it. You know, I share drawings and stuff like that in there. But it's like, hey, if you do something creative, go for it. Join it. Uh, we got type all kinds in there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got the full res on Twitter and Instagram in the description. Uh, I think that's all I got for you guys this week, though. So see ya when I see ya.